Hello, welcome back to the channel. Just a bit of a quick update really, what, what's happening, what's going on. Uh, if you haven't seen the two Hawkstone videos, um, they're on, they, they're, doing, um, they're, they're doing well to be fair, they're doing quite well. Uh, the first one, um, it was slippy but manageable. The second one was slippy and nothing really was moving around a lot. Uh, you had to send it everywhere. But, you know, still made a good video. We had some very nice vehicles turn up. Some big jacked up bloody Jeeps and Range Rovers and all sorts. So, yeah, they came up on the uh, on the second video. The first video, looks like it's still a brilliant day. Um, it wasn't as muddy, but if anything, it made it a little bit better because you could actually get where you wanted to go. You could see the hills and you could go up the hills rather than getting halfway up and sliding back down sideways. That was the second video. But yeah, those videos are now up and all uploaded and whatnot. Um, it's absolutely freezing today. We've got another camping trip coming up soon. On the 16th, we're going to a woodland. Um, we've been there before, but last time we went there, we didn't get permission because I didn't know who owned it. So uh, I've done a couple of a couple of wreckies over there, see if I could find out who owned it. And um, nobody was ever there. You know, I. I sat there had a, had a cup of coffee and stuff nobody ever turned up but trust it be the day we actually camped there people turned up so uh i asked them who owned it spoke to the landowner um he's gave us permission obviously you know he was just a little bit worried that you know we could have been breaking in and stealing things but anyway you know after i reassured him of what we do he uh he was like yeah mate not a problem carry on crack on go and have a good time so that's coming up on the 16th uh, that'll be me and rich and we might have one other coming up as well um i ain't going to mention him yet he's a is a youtuber himself but i'm not going to mention him because it's still obviously got to be confirmed i've spoke to him about it and he's up for it but if it's peeing down the rain i doubt he's going to want to come but yeah uh today i'm off work so i'm going to be spending a bit of time on that Last time we was at um, Hawkstone, I bent the front bumper because I ended up sliding into a bloody tree on the Sunday, winching Marcus out in his series. So uh, I'm going to go try and sort that out if I can, see uh, see what I can do with that. Um, could do with a bloody good wash really as well, couldn't I? But yeah, uh, for those who haven't seen it, it's my Discovery 2 TD5. It's a 1998 S Reg. So it's a very early one. It's solid as a rock, to be fair. Um, it's had very, 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 very minimal wel welding on it. Uh, yeah, I built it from standard. It did used to have, for those who've seen it before, it did used to have like a big roll cage on it. But I took all that off. It, I just didn't need it. And it was too bloody heavy. It was that top heavy. You, you go around corners and you'd be like this and like this and like this. So, uh, yeah, I took it off. And... Um, I'll tell you what, do you want to have a look round? Come on, come with me. As you can see, there she is. She's all of her glory. You can see the damage I've done. Obviously, this here, that there is just an add-on to put a bit of soil protection on. Um, it's a Venom bumper, so it should stop about there. But uh, we cut it off a while ago, and I just got some tube and welded it on, but I snapped the bloody weld, and I ended up denting that. So I'm going to see if I can sort that out today. But yeah, it's got a Venom front bumper on it with extended sides. Obviously, that's how it should look. So yeah, we've got a, uh, a Winch Max Winch, £13,500 winch hiding behind there as well, which is absolutely brilliant. If anybody from Winch Max ever watches this video, those winches are banging absolutely fantastic. So we've got a set of D3 alloys on her, 17s with some 285 7017 renegade raiders on her as you can see she's got the suspension lift and all that i know what it all is but so do you i mean i built it so i know exactly what it's got but i ain't gonna bore you with all the details uh, it's got an aluminium roof rack which is a bit um a bit special it's an australian brand i forget what the brand is now somebody has previously chopped it because that bar was supposed to go all the way around 
So I'm going to get in touch with a local aluminium fabricator and see if he can put it back to how it should be. Obviously, the club stickers, 4 before you know it. If you're not on it, get on it. You don't know what you're missing out on. She's just had a set of new rear brakes on it. You could do with a watch linkage because it's knocking. Yeah, I've got some uh, added reverse and lights and recovery lights in there. Got the trash roo. Got the, uh, the, is it a 20 or 25 litre bottle? I'm not sure, but a big water bottle. I haven't used it for a while, so it needs uh, disinfecting out. But yeah, well, obviously that's a private plate, but it is actually an s reg So like I say, it's a very early one. Pretty much staying this side. That's just vinyl all over the windows. I don't know why I bothered putting that on there, to be fair, there's never anything in there. But uh, here's my snorkel. It's a Peaky Accessories Aussie style snorkel. I quite like that. And uh, it connects to the original airbox as well. Obviously, I've got the rock sliders on it. Got the uh, suspension lift on the back as well, as you can see. Needs a bloody good clean, to be fair. I should have uh, cleaned it before I'd done this video. But it's one of them, isn't it? Straight through exhaust. I've got to have the big tow bar, which is a bit, um, a bit of a nightmare, really, when you're off-roading, because it just acts like an anchor, as you've seen on previous videos. But I do tow the caravan a lot with it. There's the uh, exhaust area as well for the diesel eater, which is just inside. So yeah, we can't really take the uh, the tow bar off. But it's just one of them. You you know you win some, you lose some, don't you? There she is. Look, she's uh, she's no show winner, but she's good enough for me. It's got the front and rear metal lock guards. The front ones are actually off a, uh, a D1. I'd never seen anyone do it before, and I was fed up with breaking the plastic ones, the D2 ones, because they're shocking. So uh, I just kind of made them fit. Underneath, she's got the Dirt Monkey off road front and rear um, diff guards. Oh, I've probably missed loads out. It's absolutely freezing. Yeah, I would have definitely missed loads out. But uh, look how red my nose is. Look like bloody Rudolph. Why did I choose to do this today? It's absolutely bitter. There's the... Uh, <laughs> you'd have seen that in a previous video. That's obviously a bottle opener. Which works quite well. When it's not got a light directly underneath it. Because some idiot put it there. Mentioning no names. So now you can't really get the bottle on it. But... Uh, it does a job, doesn't it? Like I say, it's just an off-roader. It's, it's an off-roader. It takes me and the wife and the kids where we want to go with the caravan. And it also gives us a bit of joy getting muddy and chucking it into dirt holes and stuff. I haven't got the most aggressive tyres on it, but they do for me. So, yeah, I'm not going to ramble on too much. But uh, it's just a bit of an update on the channel, like I say. Um, keep a lookout for the next video which will be on the 16th, which will be me and Rich um, hammocking in some local woods. Not far from here, to be fair. So they're very thick woods. You know, it's not a very big, like, massive forest. It's just a bit of a, is it called a paddock? I don't know. But they're, it's, they're not very big, but they're very thick. You know, you can just about get your motor in them. There she is, look. All right, so for me and the Land Rover, I think we'll call it a day there. I'm gonna go home. And it worked today, so I'm going to go home and uh, get warm. Man, it's cold. Right, be good, be safe. If you can't be good, be horrible. Catch you on the next one.